So we did it, 2,000 subscribers, bestie. I don't even know how that happened. I remember when I set up the channel, I thought, okay, 100 subscribers by Christmas, that'd be amazing and wonderful, but I'm not really all about the numbers in case you haven't guessed. But then as I found that I started to really enjoy filming videos, editing them, putting them out, and then talking to you, it became something really special to me. So the fact that we now have 20, no, not 20, that'd be nice. The fact that we have 2000 people watching these videos on a regular basis is absolutely mental to me. Like, I can't believe it. Thank you so much. So as per the normal YouTuber trope, I am gonna do a giveaway. Lucky you. I see a lot of YouTubers when they hit milestones, they start giving away money. But for me, money is, intrinsically important to getting to where I want to be so I'm not going to do that so sorry if that's what you're expecting but no what I am going to do is something a little bit different though so bear with me this is what's happening so we are going to do a giveaway and it is going to be for three people to win and it's going to be a 20 pound voucher for my Etsy store now you can buy something for 20 pounds which means it's completely free or you can use it towards a larger purchase if you had your eye on something this is worldwide as well. So that 20 pounds is something like 27 US dollars, something like that. So it does work out in your currency. Don't worry about that. But how do you win the 20 pound voucher? I hear you ask. Well, I have teamed up with three YouTubers who I absolutely love, who are gonna support me with this. So each of them has a unique voucher code each and they're gonna run the giveaway on their channels. So in order to win one of those vouchers, you need to follow one of those YouTubers. So we have Sunshine Budgets, Sonia Budgets, and Simple Budgets. We're going for the three S's. And the link for their channels is in the description. So you need to go over to their channels, follow them, watch their video, and find out what you need to do to win the voucher. Now, if you go ahead and follow all three, that's three chances to win. Later in the week or in a week's time, they're all gonna run their draws and they're gonna tell you who's gonna win. And then they will give you the 20 pound voucher code. So best of luck. Thank you so much for supporting me along this journey. When we get to 3K, I'll do the same again, but maybe a bit more money next time. Who knows? I might be rich by then. I might have met a millionaire by then. By the way, do let me know if you know any millionaires with a massive dip. So just to reiterate, make sure you go and follow those three wonderful creators over on YouTube. Make sure you enter their giveaways and best of luck. So today's video is check-in for February week four. It's the close out of February's budget and February went quite all right for us, really. Next month, Jake is moving out, so I'm not really relying on his money anymore. So it's basically all me in March. So um, I am ready for it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the budget sheets. Okay then, here we are on the February exclusive calendar, which is available with the budget with Ira budget sheets that are available on my Etsy store. Today we are using no spend stickers that are available on Etsy from Kyle Plans and these are beautiful and they will be linked in the description. And we're also using my stickers which are my expense tracker stickers available on my Etsy store and I love these little buttes. I get paid every four weeks and my week runs from a Friday to a Thursday so we are now checking in with the spends from Friday the 4th to Thursday the 10th. So Friday the 4th was a no spend day, I didn't spend anything, no bills came out, nothing happened at all so we laid this sticker. On the Saturday I was at work and I spent four pounds so that was a meal deal and I wanted a bit of chocolate as well. Pet insurance came out that day and it was £14.09 as expected. On the Sunday I went to Morrison's and I spent 49.26. I put 20 pounds of petrol into my car and I treated myself to a Red Bull which was £1.53. On the 7th Netflix came out which was 5.99. The 8th was a wonderful no spend day. On the 9th, I paid for lunch at work and that was £3.15. And then I picked up some bits for dinner just because I fancied a nice dinner. So I used my own spending money because we'd already spent almost our whole amount of money on groceries. I had a really early day on the Thursday. I started at 4 a.m. So when I say lunch, that means like a Red Bull and like something really small at like 10 in the morning. And then I met up with a friend for a very late lunch and had a fry up with them, like an all day breakfast. I love doing that. That was 5.67. 
Gas and Electric came out that day and it was £120. I'm getting a bit nervous for the prices going up, but then I will be living with myself eventually, so I don't know what will happen with it. And my phone bill came out and it was £8.31 and I was expecting it to be £17, so I still don't really know what's happening there, but I'm happy spending less. Okay, so that was the week of spending. I think it's a pretty tame week. Everything that was supposed to come out did come out and there's nothing scary and red and unbudgeted. So pleased with that. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and check in for the week. Okay, so here we are with the weekly check-in. We're gonna go ahead and check in for week four. So let's start by filling in everything that we know. Okay, so for spending, I started off the week with £30 because I normally give myself £40, but then I rolled the dice challenge to determine how much I'm going to get. And last week I rolled a 10, so I saved £10 to go towards my deposit, so that left me with 30 Last week I spent £23.90, which should have left me with £6.10. So we have four, five, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, six pounds, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six, ten. Let's keep that to the side for now. For groceries, I spent 49.26, which left me with 74 pence. So that's 50, 60, 70, four. Uh, for petrol, I gave myself 30, but only spent 20, which should have left me with 10. So here's the 10, pop that aside. And then for unbudgeted, there wasn't anything, so no unbudgeted. Last week, I spent 93.16, which is pretty reasonable and nothing to roll over because I don't do that anymore. So let's figure out what we're gonna do with this cash. Okay, so we've got some big and some little. So this 15 pounds, I'm gonna keep to the side. And then this money I'm gonna put in my adventure jar. So here we have, so 50, 60, 80, one pound, 20, 40, 60, 160, 170, 180, 184, one pound 84. Okay, so what we have remaining is £15, and I haven't done a £15 envelope yet, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and do the £15 envelope. Because I am closing down February, I have no need for this petrol envelope anymore, so I'm going to reuse this and use that as an envelope, because they're all the same size, and it's just another way to use these envelopes rather than throwing them away. So I'm going to get a bit of washi tape, tape that up, and then that is that done. Okay, so I am ready now to close out the budget. So let's start from the top. So income was exactly as expected. So it's 2078.23 was my income. Uh, I had 581.69 left over from what Jake gave me in January. And Jake gave me 828 pounds for February, which left me with 3,487.92. So pet insurance came out and it was £14.9, Netflix was £5.99, gas and electric was £120 and my phone was £8.31, which is weird, but not going to moan about it. So my bills in total, we move down a bit, was £1,000. 428.97, which when I take it away from the 3487 left to be with 2058.95. In terms of the envelopes, there were no difference, so all of this is absolutely normal. Uh, no overspends or anything like that. Got my hair cut, did all of that, so that was all 510 pounds. So when I take it from the 2058, I was left with 1548.95. Five. And the same is true for sinking funds. So I did £50 to car maintenance, £25 to water, £160 to my emergency fund, which was really good. Uh, clothing was £10, dental was £10, uh, deposit was £20, laptop was £20, tattoo was £10, 
lights camera was five pounds weddings was 150 and then i put 100 uh, was it 41 pounds to the 100 envelope challenge which was 501 pounds which left me with 1047.95 so the loan payment came out, there were no additional debts to pay um, other than my student loan, which came out of my paycheck before I even hit. So the only one I'm really focusing on is loan at the moment. And that left me with £847.03. And then I committed £828 to rollover, which is still there, which um, I'm going to do something with next month. So I'm excited to show you that. So left over was £19.3 and that's my buffer and I'm happy with that being a buffer. So all in all, that was a very successful month. Um, this is, as I said, this is probably the last comfortable month that I'm going to have because probably in about two to three weeks time, Jake's moving out. So it's all me after that. So having these additional incomes um, isn't going to be a reality anymore, but I know from the work that I did last October that I can afford to live by myself quite successfully. So I'm not nervous about it anymore, but um, yeah, wish me luck with it. Okay, so this part of the video, normally what I would be doing is cash stuffing for the week after. But I haven't actually filmed March's budget yet. I am going to do that maybe today or tomorrow, but I want to make sure that I've committed to my £1,050 challenge. I will be stuffing my petrol, my spending and my groceries off camera because there's no time and there'll be no point in just showing you a video of just doing that. So I want to make sure that I roll the dice for this so that I know how much and what I will do is I will fill this up off screen once I have got the money because I haven't even been to the bank yet. So let's go get the dice and let's roll and let's see how much I'm going to be saving this week. You ready? Three. Bang in. That's going to be a good week for me. So that's good. Thank you so much for being with me this week. I'll see you again very, very soon. Hi guys, guys, and I'm Byron Pals. Thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know I love it when you get through to the end of the video. When you get through to the end of the video, it boosts the algorithm. When you comment on this video, it does so much. And it means that other people get to see this channel and support us and make the community even bigger. So thank you so much for doing everything that you do for me. Talking about commenting, if you are gonna comment, please use this emoji. And that is all I have because I am a busy girl. There is orders coming out of my ears. There is March's releases I've got to prepare for. There's a new video that I've got to do as well, which is March, so I'm excited. So I hope you are too. But until then, have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week and have a wonderful budget. I will see you sooner than you think, Vesti. Have a great week, bye-bye. And a massive warm welcome to Bonnie Costa, our newest patron. If you would like to support me over on Patreon, please take a look at the link in the description. Guess what? You won't regret it, bestie.